back, like let's say even 2006, before I opened the doors, uh, people were, were thinking about food in, uh, in ways of seasonality. And seasonality is, 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 a, is a way of being somewhat local, but you would break out of those rules by, because no one was really looking at proteins in the same way as a seasonal system, mm -hmm. right? So um, when when I opened Cowbell, that was the main fo focus. Like, oh, all oh, restaurants have proteins as their focused menu item. Like, you'll have a steak, you'll have a fish, you'll have a chicken, that kind of thing. Uh, but nobody was really concerned of where those things came from uh, and how they were grown. Um, so I made it a point to, to make that the focus and, and talk to farmers that um, believed in ideas of animal husbandry and you know actually caring for their animals rather than treating them as a commodity right? um, and that just so happens to translate into better product better tasting product and that translates into a better meal that I provide to you as I guess. I think um, I think it, it stems from relationships. I think mm -hmm. largely um, it's who you know. And I'm not gonna lie. You, you should know your butcher. You should know your your produce supplier. Uh, and if if they truly have integrity, you would trust in that. Right? Mm -hmm. And uh, I think what happens is uh, you know if there is a market people will produce better food. You know, if people demand it, and the only way they're gonna de demand it is by going to that one source and saying, hey, I really like that carrot you made me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, can you make me more, you know? You know, if it were perhaps genetically modified to be tastier, perhaps, I might consider it. It's an interesting way to think about it. Uh, but for, for what it is modified to do, what is that pig is supposed to uh, produce less waste, right? It's supposed to A different kind of waste, phosphorus. Less phosphorus. Less phosphorus, okay. Yeah. So it's it's... It's being bred to be um, made in, in as a commodity in an industrial scale system. So, it's, what what that pig is being raised for is to be born and bred and housed in a warehouse and pumped with food to produce flesh, right? Essentially, uh, I think that's pretty gross. Yeah, I think I think uh, this this is a story that needs to be communicated. We're, I, I, I mean, we're living in a, a ninety-nine cent hamburger world where you know you can't you can't buy meat for ninety-nine cents. You know, you can't. I don't know what's in it. People need to understand what what they're eating, uh, and I think we're, we're living with uh, under a blind like blindfolded to what uh, is actually happening. Um, and I guess, I guess I, I care about it. I'm passionate about uh, good quality food because I work with it day in and day out. And I also come from that world where I didn't invest too much in in um, in these kinds of ingredients before I opened Cowbell. Right? I would just call up a uh, a meat supplier and say, "Hey, I would need 50 tenderloins," not considering how many cows that's going to be. You know, like 25 cows. I don't care, right? I need to fill my dining room. Whereas now I have a greater understanding of higher, of the higher practices of food. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think uh, local, local just tastes better, you know? especially it's, it's raised properly. Yeah. That's it. Thanks, Mark. You think you got something there? I think you did, yeah.